हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेक्टर इंटीग्रेशन टाइप वन लाइन इंटीग्रेशन एंड दिस इज आर थर्ड प्रॉब्लम वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आर थर्ड प्रॉब्लम exactly similar to first and second there are three things we need to find it out first of all we need to prove it's irrotational then scalar potential and finally overton let's have a look on the given problem here f bar is given and the same question conservative scalar potential work done the points are from triple zero to minus one comma two comma pi here if you are not comfortable with the derivative you may find some difficulty because here u into v rule is applicable let me tell you e raised to x y derivative if you finding with respect to x then it is e raised to x y into if it is with respect to x going to multiply by y and if I'm going to find with respect to y, e raised to x y will remain as it is into with respect to y, I'm going to write it on x. And suppose if we want integration, integration of e raised to x y with respect to x is e raised to x y upon y. And if it is with respect to y, then it is e raised to x y upon x remember these four things that will be required in the problem in derivative see here with respect to x with respect to x what is constant y you going to multiply by y here we are differentiating with respect to y x is constant we're going to multiply by x and in case of integration that will be divide integration with respect to x i'm going to divide by y integration with respect to y i'm going to divide by x this will be required let's move on and try to solve the problem let's start with the first that is curl of f bar we need to prove it is irrotational or conservative del cross f bar which is equal to i j k this is do by do x do by do y do by do z whatever with risk with i we go to write it down here that is y e raised to x y cos z here it is x e raised to x y cos z and finally we do have e raised to x y sin z but we cannot skip this minus sign minus e raised to x y sin z friends one more thing required will be u into v rule u derivative of v plus v derivative of u that is the rule that will be required here let us move on let's solve this determinant i with i leave this leave this will be left with the do by do y of minus e raised to x y sin z minus do by do z of x e raised to x y cos z this is the first term let's move on minus j with the minus j it will be do by do x of minus e raised to x y sin z minus do by do z of y e raised to x y cos z and finally plus k with k i'm going to leave this and this that is do by this term i'll be left with do by do x of x e raised to x y cos z minus do by do y of y e raised to x y cos z let's find this derivative ultimately the answer will be zero for sure let's do it let us differentiate with respect to x this is i 
with respect to y if i want to differentiate this here minus sin z is constant e raised to xy derivative with respect to y as discussed e raised to xy in case of derivative you're going to multiply by constant and in case of integration you're going to divide by constant here with respect to y i'm differentiating therefore i'm going to multiply by x this is the formula minus dou by dou z in case of dou by dou z x e raised to x y is constant and cos z derivative is minus sin z done with the first minus j let's move on with respect to x this minus sin z is constant e raised to x y derivative is e raised to x y into multiply by constant with respect to x i am differentiating therefore it is y minus dou by dou z with respect to z you differentiating y e raised to x y constant cos z derivative is a minus sin z let's find it out the last plus k plus k do by do x i'm going to differentiate with respect to x cos z is constant and if you observe friends this is your u this is your v x e raised to x y is u into v because we are differentiating with respect to x in both the terms we do have x so it has to be u into v rule in case of derivative you can choose any u any one as u and the second one is v here u as it is that means x as it is e raised to x y derivatives e raised to x y into multiply by constant we are differentiating with respect to x y is constant plus v as it is that means e raised to x y as it is x derivative is 1 minus now i'm going to differentiate with respect to y again this cos z constant here again i'm going to apply u into v because with respect to y here also y is there and the second term also y with respect to y the first term is as it is u into v y will remain as it is e raised to x y derivative is e raised to x y into constant here constant is x plus e raised to x y as it is y derivative is 1 let's simplify this this is cancelled this is cancelled if you open the brackets you will find that these two terms are also getting cancelled which is equal to zero since curl of f bar is equal to zero therefore vector is irrotational or conservative done with the two marks what next similar procedure next is to find scalar potential let's find that number two is your scalar potential scalar potential means we are going to find it out phi as discussed the technique hope you remember do phi by do x do phi by do y and finally do phi by do z you write f1 here what is f1 with i that is y e raised to x y cos z f2 with j what is that x e raised to x y cos z and finally with k that is minus e raised to x y sin z let's integrate if you want phi here you need to integrate with respect to x when you integrating with respect to x y constant cos z constant e raised to x y integration e raised to x y upon v divided by constant what is the constant here integrating with respect to x y is constant we're going to divide by y with respect to y this x constant cos z constant e raised to x y integration is e raised to x y upon divided by constant with respect to y x is constant divided by x and in the last minus e raised to x y constant because we are integrating with respect to z 
sin z integration is minus cos z. Let us check what we got. In the first we got e raised to xy cos z. Second also we got the same. And third also we got the same. e raised to xy cos z, e raised to xy cos z, e raised to xy cos z. What is the scalar potential? Fine. That will be e raised to xy cos z only because we are going to write it down the repeated term once. e raised to xy cos z. We will get 2 marks for this. What is the last part of the solution? That is number 3. Work done. What is the formula? F bar dot dr bar. Remember, write it on integration derivative. Write on the scalar potential as it is. That is e raised to xy cos z. What next? Show the cancellation. What next? Come on. e raised to xy cos z. Upper minus lower limit. Here we do have 0, 0 and 0. In upper limit we do have minus 1, 2 and pi. Let us substitute the limits. In upper limit, I am going to replace x with minus 1, y with 2 and z with the pi. Therefore, it will be e raised to minus 2 cos z cos pi. Cos pi is actually minus 1 minus lower limit e raised to 0 cos 0. There is minus e raised to minus 2 e raised to 0 is 1 cos 0 is also 1. This is the required answer. You will get 2 marks for this. Hope you understood. We are done with the example. Thank you.